So in this case, we are going to have a continuation from our previous class as we had our arithmetic sequence. So this is just a continuation that we're having. We are already given on this question that this is an arithmetic sequence. Given the arithmetic sequence, determine the value of P. So from this arithmetic sequence, what will be the value of P? And also B, determine the values of the first three terms of the sequence. How can we attempt such uh, a question? Remember in our previous case, uh, as we had our arithmetic sequence, the, the whole issue was on the common difference between consecutive terms, where I was listing that the common difference that you obtain from T2 minus T1 is supposed to be the same as T3 minus T2, which is supposed to be the same as T4 minus T3, and so on. So using that, can we determine the value of P? Because that to just to write this, all right, let us uh, consider this, guys. This is our first term, 1 minus P. Uh, the second term, that's 2P minus 3. So that's 2P minus 3, uh, followed by P plus 5. So this is P plus 5, and so on, and so on. If we are to say this is our first term, our second term, our third term, and the common difference is the same, T2 minus T1 is the same as T3 minus T2. And so we can form an equation from there. We can form an equation because it's supposed to be the same common throughout. The difference between these two terms, T2 and T1. So, okay, let me just write it here. T2 uh, minus T1. T2 minus T1. This is our common difference must be equal to T3 minus T2. All right? You understand me from this one. Because this is the common difference, which is this. So the difference between these two is supposed to be the same as the difference between these two. All right, let's subtract both. This is algebra now. Most of us, when we put these algebraic expressions, we tend to have challenges. All right, so let us have our T2. That's an expression of 2P minus 3. All right, so this one, does, we do not have a need for us to have this in a bracket, just like write as 2P minus 3, minus T1. What you are subtracting is what you're going to put in a bracket, minus T1. So you're going to have your T1. This is our T1, remember, which is 1 minus P in a bracket. Check not your algebraic expressions. The distribution of a negative affects everything. So this is equal to T3. There's no need for us to have this in a bracket. Just going to write as it is T3, which is P plus 5. Minus T2. This is our T2, which is given as what? 2P minus 3. We have formed an equation that we need to solve for P. What's the equation? And P is the unknown that we are given there. So by solving, we are determining the value of what? The value of P. So let us consider uh, this equation. Uh, what can we do, guys? The first part there, we can simply uh, distribute. So all we just need here is to distribute the negative into the brackets that we are given so that we can collect our like terms as we do understand. This is same as good, negative one, negative one, all right? So that's 2P. Minus 3, minus 1 times 1, that's a minus 1, minus 1 times a minus P, that's a positive, minus, minus, that's a positive, which is equal to uh, P plus 5, then we've got negative 1 times P, which is, uh, that's negative 1 times 2P, yeah, 2P, negative 1 times 2P, so that's negative 2P, negative 1, and negative 3, that is going to be, uh, a positive 3. So considering the left-hand side, we have to collect the like terms on the left-hand side. The part of P on its own, that is going to be 2 plus 1, which is 3. So that's 3P 
minus 3, minus 1. That's uh, minus 4. We are on the left-hand side. Okay? You're considering your equal sign. So the left-hand side, you simplify. You do the same thing on the right-hand side. You're supposed to consider your like terms there on the right-hand side. So this is equal to the right-hand side, that's 1p minus p. 1 minus 2, that's just 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So that's minus p. Uh, then uh, the 5 and the 3. 5 plus 3, which is 8. So it's going to be minus p plus 8. You worked the left-hand side on its own, the right-hand side on its own. So what are you going to do from here? Collect the like term. The moment we are taking or the moment we are removing one term from one side of the equal sign to another, there we have to consider changing of the sign as the number or the term crosses the equal sign, minus p to this side. It is going to be a positive p. It was a negative p. So we're going to have this as a positive p, which is 3 plus uh, 3p plus p, which is going to be 4p. You do the same thing, the minus 4 to the other side. It is going to be a positive 4. It was a negative. There it's going to be a positive so that's 4 plus uh, 8 plus 4, which is 12. So what will be the value of P? Simply divide by, by 4 both sides. So that's it, guys. That's how you're going to determine the value of P. So determining the value of the unknown from uh, any sequence, let me explain this way. You have to consider first what is it that you're given the type first. It's an arithmetic sequence. They can say it's a geometric. If it is a geometric, you work from the common ratio as we have your geometric. As we have our arithmetic, we know of what? The common difference. The major part of this arithmetic is the what? The common difference. That is the major part. The common difference is, uh, like I was saying, as I explained before, common difference. That is the major part. If we have that, that's an equation to say T2 minus T1 is equal to T3 minus T2. We have formed an equation that we can solve for P. All right, let's quickly check B. Determine the values of the first three terms of the sequence, the first three terms. So as we have, guys, these are the first three terms, T1, T2, and T3. But these terms, they were in terms of P. These terms, they were in terms of P. So now what do they want us to do? now? They want us to find the numerical values, which is by substituting the value of P that we determined that our P is equal to 3. We have to substitute the value of P into these expressions that we are given representing T1, T2, and T3. So meaning to say our T1, as we are given, that's 1 minus P. So that's 1 minus, remember we said our P is equal to 3. So that's 1 minus 3 in place of P. So that was going to give us a negative 2. Move on to T2, which is represented by 2P. Minus 3. So that's 2 times P. In place of P, we substitute the 3. So that's 2 times 3 minus 3. So simplifying this on your calculator is going to be a uh, positive 3. Uh, T3, which is P plus 5. P plus 5. P is what? It's 3. So that's 3 plus 5. And 3 plus 5 was going to give us 8. So these are our terms. T1, T2, uh, T3 in that order. Meaning to say it is minus 2 which is our T1, followed by what? Followed by 3, followed by what? Followed by 8. So that was going to give us a, a sequence, which is and so on and so on and so on. So questions can be like this. They want you to determine the unknown value, but first check the sequence that you're working with. You get the idea from the sequence. So in that case, definitely, they are going to specify the type of the sequence that you're working with so that you know, okay, this is arithmetic. I'm going to have what? A common difference. So let us do revise as many questions as we can. 
uh, preparing ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time.